Hello, and this week on Treasure Hunt, we have with us from Axbridge in Somerset, Jenny Wood and her husband, Tim. And of course, Wincy Willis, who's going to be plotting their progress as they and I try to guide Annika around a course to win a prize of a thousand pounds. And if you do that, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing you've solved five very cryptic clues. You know, it's easier to do at home than it is in the studio, I think you may find. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> so what made you volunteer for this? We always watch the programme. We thought it would be fun to have a go. What do you do, Jenny? I run my own business, which is a book packaging company doing children's books. We produce ideas and publish books and sell the ideas to publishers. How long have you been doing that? This is a second year. Is it going well? Seems to be, yes. Good. What about you, Tim? I'm a part-time teacher and I work for Jenny. Doing what for Jenny? A um, bit of writing, a bit of production, making the tea, that sort of thing. <laughs> and what is your subject in, in teaching? History. Well, that might be useful today. I hope so, yeah. The best of luck to you both. Thank you. Yeah. Wincy, any chance of getting any hints about uh, where Annika's going to be? As usual, Kenneth, no. <laughs> but I would remind anyone that's not seen Treasure Hunt before that we do have 45 minutes in which to solve the five clues and wish the contestants lots of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we can now get the answer to that question from the lady herself. So, Annika, can you hear me? I can indeed. Oh, Hello good. to you all. Hello. Hello. We're in a lovely part of the British Isles this week. We're in the Garden of England. That's the fertile weald of Kent, that lovely wooded country that lies between the North and the South Downs. And I must say, it, the area as a whole has more than its fair share of stately homes and beautiful old country houses. There's Hever Castle, Leeds Castle, Chartwell, that's the home of Churchill, of course, Knoll Park. But I think right now I must be standing in one of the most magnificent. I'm at Penshurst Place, and I'm actually in the medieval Great Hall at the moment, which was built in 1341 by St John de Pulteney. And I think this is one of the most spectacular examples of 14th century halls still existing in Britain. If you look up to the ceiling there, that fantastic massive roof-beamed ceiling held up by ten life-size wooden figures, reminders of the peasants who worked for Penshurst 600 years ago, but it is really fantastic. And Lord Delisle himself is lurking back here, so he'd like to say hello. Thank you so much for letting us invade your house today. Very exciting day for ah, us. And this is the courtyard, is it, yes, through courtyard. here? So we're, we're coming out into the, uh, into the fresh air again now. And I said, I'm with Lord Delisle, and I'd like to actually introduce you all now to a couple of wrinkled old retainers. And of course, <laughs> <laughs> Frank Mayburn is one, of course. He looks like a bit like a candlestick this morning, his beautiful silver outfit. And uh, Graham Berry, our magnificent cameraman. If you open your map, you will see where Penshurst is. It's just sort of southwest of Tunbridge. And the sun is southwest. even coming out for us. Oh, yeah, I've got it, Jess. Here it is, over here. Right, Wincy, will you tell us more about the area, please? Certainly, Kenneth. Unfortunately, of course, we can't see Annika because she's in a beautiful part of the world. She's in the Weald of Kent, close to the Sussex border. Annika's actually starting here, as she said, at Penshurst, about five miles west of Tunbridge. Penshurst is also on the River Eden. So, Annika, you're not only in the Garden of England, but you're also in the Garden of Eden. Oh! <laughs> I think we're going to get going. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yes, quite a good idea. already. Yes, but before you're, we crack you're, you're ready to go, are you? We are indeed, yes. Okay. And let's the sun is the about to shine. Let's have the first... Here's the first clue, then. Off the rails to the south, a beetle takes on the stones. If you know the ropes, you'll beat Flotsam and Jetsam. Off the rails to the south, a beetle takes on the stones. If you know the ropes, you'll beat Flotsam and Jetsam. Right. Well, right. Tim and Jenny, good luck. Over to you on that. Thank you, Thank very, you very much. much. I know you're a bit of a rock and roller yourself, so you'll have no <laughs> trouble with that. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get back to the helicopter? Yes, please, so, Annika, yes. if you could. Lord Delisle, thank you very much. Thank lovely you. to meet Thank you. you. I'm you. very envious of your lovely home Thank here. We'd much. better start sprinting now. Have I got to oh, off the rails to the too? south? Well, the rails are here, aren't they? Thank you very much. A beetle takes on the stones. OK, lads. Are you heading back to the helicopter, Annie? Yes, we're, on we're on our way, Jenny. Right. Um, Graham's just writing a book, actually, as he runs along. This map is off the rails to the south. Mm. So, any idea what we should do? Not yet. We're Not just yet, looking no. up some books. While you're, in the, while you're in the helicopter, have a good look at your map. See if you can help us with it. OK. It says off the rails to the south. Now, the rails are... Well, you can see where the yes, rails are. the railway lines here, yes. Thank you, Keith. And, of course, our pilot, Keith Thompson. 
He's in a sunny mood today, we hope. So, can, can we just take off and have a look around the... Yes, I think... I think if you could just take off and hover George, for a minute and right. we'll just try to George, um, Paul, Ringo and John. help you. Well, that'll be a real pleasure because apparently um, Penta stands in this beautiful park. And the gardens are lovely. So it, sounds, it sounds wonderful. Goodbye, Lord Delisle. And that's Nick his gardener stones. standing next to him. Oh, bro. Hmm. Find it. And we're on the, near the, the river's Medway in Eden here. So it really is a lovely oh, setting. Hello. We can have a look. This is Penshurst Parish Churchyard here. Parts of it date back to uh, the 13th century. Do you, do you want to look at that one? We're just looking up some books, Annika, just to okay. see if we can Well, we're get thoroughly any clues. enjoying ourselves. And uh, the gardens. Old Nick the Gardener. Well, young Nick the Gardener, actually. Busy oh, on look, those. Harrison's Rocks. Harrison's Rocks, yes. Uh, we want you to go due south. Due south? Due south towards Harrison's Rocks. Where's they're, that? Well, they're just south of... Absolutely bang south yes. of you. You see, where the, you see where the railway line comes to a sort of V? They, they, the two lines make a sort of oh, V. Oh, yes, Harrison's Rocks. Absolutely there. OK. So. Well, that's Nick's pride and joy, that garden bed where the flowers are out in the shape of a Union Jack. Right down below, Graham, he's missed it. You <laughs> know the ropes. The heather's blue and the roses yes. come up as red and white. Harrison. So That's thing about Harrison's Rocks. Heading Due south, then. There's nothing in that one. There's Penshurst Village below us. Right, there's where nothing the, in that one. Where's the, there is the original right. Leicester Square, named it's after the up. Elizabethan Earl of Leicester. So, we will head south. See if that's got that's anything on. Lovely, very oh, fertile farmland all around here. You can just see the pinnacle of the church tower there, rising above the cluster there's of cottage rocks, rooftops. Yeah. Mm, and what a beautiful place. setting. Groombridge. I think we'll be there in about uh, three minutes. Feeling fast today. Good heavens. Good. We'll be there in about three minutes. It should be over this uh, these hills there. Was there anything in here? Right. No. It's so a very no. fertile farmland all round here. Look up Groombridge, perhaps. Groombridge, 135. Groombridge, Groombridge you think now? Uh, no, no. It's uh, no. this is just the nearest place. All oh, right. Off the road to the south, the beetle ropes. takes on the stones. If you know the ropes. Know the ropes. I don't there's anything about... Right. It's not a park What about anything, Flotsam and Jetsam? What do we know about Flotsam and Jetsam? The dictionary Flotsam biography. The How are we doing? Are we still heading for this point? Yes, yes, please. OK. There, wasn't there um, uh, a musical act yes, there called was, Flotsam, Flotsam and Jetsam? And Jetsam. Mm. Lots of farms round here. The farms are the high wheeled uh, with sandstone soil, very rich and lush. So, as I say, farming very uh, profitable here. And of course, it started up because it was an uh, ideal position, Kent, in terms of uh, the continent and getting in and out of the city of London. Now, I think coming up, this is Groombridge. This is Groombridge. Yeah, we're coming up to the village of Groombridge. Right. Um, but are we still heading for Harrison's Rocks? Yes, yes as please. far as we know, you should be heading for there. OK, well, we'll, we'll just whiz through Gro Groombridge. I can hear you so clearly. This is wonderful. That. Oh, good. We can hear you clearly, can, too. What did you get up now. to last night? Trust, we had a meal in the trust? hotel, which was very nice. Was right. And, um... What's this? You what need, have you got you need to bed? tell us everything. You need to tell us all the details. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be there in about a mile. Um, this is the village of Groombridge. Apparently there's... Uh, I think that was Groombridge Place right up there we were, Graham was looking at. I'm trying to look at where he is looking. Some lovely houses here. And uh, some of the old oast houses, actually, now private homes. I can see one sticking out in the middle of the village There's a thing there. here called Bowles Rocks. Now, what's that? Is this that is the junction. Now, here's the railway track. Um, That's Royal Tunbridge Wells, there. And this is the V where we are now. This is the V of the, the railway tracks meeting, Harrison's Rocks. It's just a map. Right. There oh. they are. There they are. The rocks. Right. We're right over it now. Right. Um, obviously, a climber's dream, that I should imagine. Can you, can you see any... Um, ropes around climbers oh perhaps. i don't believe it you don't oh dear what, a, a so, bit of rock climbing no, it's just whenever anyone <laughs> says ropes i get nervous well you know what keeps <laughs> like <laughs> yes we could see lots of rock climbers um what do you think i meant to do i think flots who are what do a flotsam and jetsam did we think see now we don't know it's a, long, it's a long walk up there can't you you think it's something to do with climbing don't you yeah well if you know yeah. the ropes let's see you know we... the ropes uh, yeah right well let's see if we can find something over here Okay, so do you think we ought to go and have a look at their 
I think that's probably yes. a good idea, yes. Uh, thank you, Keith. I go right through those stingy nests, do I? Here, what's what's that? Any good? That might be some good. Southern uh, sandstone. Can I go in front? Oh, well. <laughs> Harrison's rocks. Oh, Harrison's yeah. rocks. No, that's I just... I can get up here. It seems to be some sort of path. Oh, here, look, here. Yes. Huh? What? Also, here, Harrison's rocks. rocks. Now, where is it? What? What have we got to find? Is there a thing? Harrison's Rock, page 49, yes. We've, probably... we've just found a book, Annie, that may be helpful. There may be a couple of rocks called well, Flotsam and Jetsam. We're, we're scampering through the undergrowth right now, um, making our way. There's a, a man-made path here. Obviously, scores of climbers over the years have made their way up here. And here are the rocks ahead of us. Um, now. Here's a picture, actually, of them. Yes. Well, there, there are the rocks, great slabs there, but... We wondered if there might be a rock called Flotsam and Jetsam. Or a oh, climb, right. or a climb. Or a climb Hello. called that. A climb called Let's that. Let's ask the expert. Hello. Hello. Is there no um, proper index? Climb. I can't Is there so a climb here it, called no. Flotsam and Jetsam? Is there a climb here called Flotsam and Jetsam? Is there a climb called Flotsam oh, yes. and Jetsam? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It should be. Where's the book? Yes, there are 201, it says. Two, two straightforward sandy chimneys. <laughs> straightforward, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me ask this guy. So there might be a rope. Yes. Can you see two sandy chimneys? Is this a uh, flot... Oh, I can see the clue! Oh, oh well done, Annie. Oh, well, how do I go? <laughs> can you, you get to it? Can you get to it? Is there a Could rope? you just pop up there and get that clue for me? Uh, <laughs> you? Oh, is there a rope there, Annie? Yeah, like yes, there seems to be a climber, and I've just commissioned him to good. go up and get it. Oh, right. That's a brilliant idea. Well done. Uh, will you go and get it? Go on. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he won't. Guess oh, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go and get it, then? Is it far? How do I get up there? Just what do I do? Just up there. How? Climb. What? Climb. How? Do you pull hands and feet? You know? Yeah. Oh, dear. Are you any good at climbing, Annie? No, I'm hopeless, and they know it. <laughs> what do you mean? Just like abseiling, but going up instead of down? Oh, up here? But won't I fall? It seems to be a bit slack. So apparently, this area was used. Right. Hillary Sherpa Tensi this morning to Nibble. Not quite the climb that Annika is going to do. Oh, I go up on this. You'll hold the rope, you just climb. Oh, I see. How are you doing, Annie? Oh, dear. Well. Don't look down, just keep looking up. Oh, gosh. Well, this is pretty difficult, excuse me. I don't see. Annie? I can't do it. Do Sorry? Step across. Uh, Sorry. Is it, is it very high? Well, it's. Uh, oh, gosh. It's not sort of what I'd call my ideal <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> what a terrible start, <laughs> yes. Sorry? Catch your other foot on that one. Let's hope it'll only get better. <laughs> I don't envy her, do you? No. I don't like this at all. No, we don't envy you in the least bit. There? Right. It's just a... Uh... Oh, God. I'm sure you're doing very well. Keep going. Oh, it's awful. Keep going. We're all rooting for you here. Have you got the jelly legs? That's what I get. Oh! <laughs> Don't look down. Don't slip. Well, it's just like... Now I just go up here. Oh, I hate this. Oh. Wait till I get that producer. <laughs> so... It's getting... Where's the clue up there? Are you far from it now? Where was it? Oh, here it is! Have you got it? Have you got it? Really? Oh! <laughs> Can you quickly get that? Just leap up and get that for me. Oh, you're such a Tarzan. I've never seen anything like it. Clue two! Got, got it! Well, yes. well, well done. Can you read it? You've read enough breath to read it. <laughs> Do you Near want... Queen Henrietta's campsite, take to the Tuscan columns for the Chally beet saucer ducked down by the dipper. Near Queen Henrietta's campsite, take to the Tuscan columns the for the calibiate sauce and duck down by the dipper. So I can't hear. Well, I think that's Tunbridge Wells myself. Queen Catherine, yes. Annika, I think the, the first thing to do is get down from that awful position <laughs> yes, you're in. 
Very carefully. Yes, this is it. Look, oh, it sounds charming. Between this Henriette is an easy and Maria. way down, isn't mm. there? That you can walk down, isn't there? Right. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. There's a bit about it. Yes, there. I think that's where that is. Certainly. Annika. Yes. Wh when you come down. Yes. And get back to the helicopter, you're heading for Tunbridge Wells. Where's, where's, where's it's all right. Oh, right. Sorry. We're on our way. Thanks, lads. Why didn't you show me the steps on the way up? <laughs> I, I mean, really. Are you are you on ground yet? Yes, we're running back to the helicopter. <laughs> She's going to kill him afterwards. Oh, great. Oh, well done. That was brilliant, well Annika. Well done. You didn't see it. I was an absolute made of No, no, we've got great admiration for you. I could yeah. never have done that I in a million years. I couldn't have done years. that either. No, no, I really couldn't. No, Kenneth, I couldn't. you yes. could have nipped up there, nimble chap that you are. Well, I would have done it without oh, ropes or something. The Calibiate spring. <laughs> <laughs> you would have done it without ropes. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, you would have done it on his broomstick. The delightful setting of the pan tiles, an elegant precinct started in 1700 and lined with picturesque shops and inns. Right. So that's Spot. what we're looking for. We're looking for the pantiles tiles in Tunbridge Wells. Tunbridge Wells, right. Yes. yes. Are you in the helicopter? Yes, we are now. Right. So you should be heading in a north-easterly direction. Now, where are the pantiles? Like can we, Tunbridge can we Wells, the pantiles. Yes. We're, we're just looking we're at a town plan there. to Landing. find out exactly where it is. Tunbridge Wells, right. We're off to Tunbridge Wells. No, I can't. Um, we'll just we'll take off there. The, the dipper. Oh, I, I was really no. horrible. The thing is, with this one, I can't hear what I'm being told, so I'm just four, not really four. enjoying that very much. Oh, there they are. I'll find them. Well, if I think well, Keith will probably take the railway track line because he likes a he likes a good guide. Oh, right. We can't let him loose over the fields too much. He gets totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You found where they are? Yes, I have. There's Good. Tunbridge Wells, very there. famous the elegant got them. town. Annika. Yes. yes, hello. When you get to Tunbridge Wells, you're looking for an area called the Pantiles. Yes, that's which, right. Which are very near Tunbridge Wells Common. They're going to come down there, aren't they, oh, I would think. So I should think, think possibly, you might land on the Common. Right, OK. And, and uh, if so, you won't be very... Well, let's hope you won't be very yes. far. You, you well, should... we'll, we'll head for the Common on Tunbridge Wells. If you can manage it. Apparently, uh, Tunbridge Wells was a rival to Bath in the oh, really? days. Bo Nash used to visit it, you know, as a, well, it as it's a, a spa. This is a very beautiful place you're going to, the Pantiles. Kenneth, it's the sort of place you'd enjoy. It's very good Dip for your rheumatism. Well. Dip as well. Look, um, the Pantiles. A cold bath was installed in 1701. You can have a cold right. bath, Annie, no. when you're there oh, to, no. to get over your uh, climb. <laughs> well, I was saying to Kenneth, the it's very good for rheumatism. Yes, yeah, right. Well. <laughs> right. Do you want to just explain to her exactly what now, she's looking Annie, for? Annie. Yes. Um, at the the pan at the end of the uh, pan tiles, there's yeah. a bath. There's a bath house. Yes. And. There's oh a God. place there called the Dippers Well. The Dittons? The Dippers. Dippers Well. Dippers Well. Right. Yes. Where well, you, you take a dip, That okay. must be where you're going, I think. To right. Yeah, to taste. By the so you, you, you can taste this really disgusting water. Yes, have a good drink. So we're going we're gonna <laughs> to land on this common. <laughs> the British tourist board eat your heart out. Yeah. No, no, the more disgusting it is, the better it is <laughs> for right. you. That's right. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. We must direct her from the common. <laughs> where, where are you now, Annika? Well, we're headed. Tunbridge Wells is ahead. We can see the... Uh, the spire in the distance. Right. Um, the common. I should think, wouldn't you think that's that's it, right? yeah, I don't know. Probably. Maybe. This is the common. It's a bit woody, isn't it, Keith? Hungus, yes. Hungershaw Park. Sorry. Yeah. That, so that's that. We're looking so, for Queen Henrietta's campsite, which was on, on the main common. But we want to well, then go into the, the main bit of the town, so... Yes, you're actually, you're not, you're actually looking for the pantiles. The pantiles. Which is yes. just sort of on the southeastern corner of Tunbridge Wells Common. North southwest east. The <laughs> bottom <laughs> right. Well, I mean, Keith will have to tell you where he can land yes, anywhere yes. on that common. Oh, Keith is in charge of this show. Frankly, mm. we're all quite irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get to the pantiles, you're looking for Dipper's Well. Dipper's Well at the pantiles. OK. Yes. Well, this is the famous bath, spa town of uh, Tunbridge Wells. I don't this time, he hasn't got to and go into the water. And here is the common. <laughs> we're landing at a sort of... Uh, yeah, so what does it say in duck, duck down, down by the dipper? Course. Oh, we're landing on a cricket pitch, the good old oh, faithful, cricket pitch. trusty cricket pitch. I wonder which one it is. The uh, higher or the... There's two. There's now, the... it looks as if we've got quite a long way run down. 
down to the um, main town of Tunbridge Wells. But is there anybody, any a bike or something you can go on, a, a car lying about? Um, a horse, possibly. <laughs> oh, don't say that. You've watched too many treasure hunts. <laughs> Can you hitch a lift from someone? Me and horses don't kind of go. Well, I think if I run down that path, it shouldn't take long. Are you feeling fit, Frank? I mean, Frank's the one we have to worry about. Which path do you think Oh, I suppose. Thanks what do you much. think this one's going down here? Oh, I hope. Yes. Right. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> no, not you. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down here. We're just uh, leaping over the old uh, railings there, and there's a path that from the air looks as if it led straight down, so let's go for that one. Yes. Uh, we... Cumbridge rolls that way. <laughs> and off we go. If, you, if you've co you're coming down the path we think you're coming down, then you'll yeah. come straight out at the plan tiles. Straight out, across the road. Right. There's a main road there. Be careful how you cross the main road. That would be tricky. Make sure somebody holds the traffic up for you. <laughs> oh, hang on, where are the boys? Oh, sorry, slow down. Sorry. Little, little gentle run. <laughs> getting told off. Jenny, what's it like having your husband working for you? Well, pretty good, actually. He makes very good tea. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where do you live at the moment? We live near Axbridge in Somerset. Still too fast. It's down, it's down here. We can't run. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a lot of abuse out of me from Graham. We're, uh, we're running quite down quite a steep hill. <laughs> Frank is playing lassoes with his umbilical cord. People always forget that, though I look pretty strange running along, I've also got uh, Frank and Greg running after me, joined up by an umbilical cord. <laughs> and it's quite a strange sight. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. Can you, can you see the time coming up in front of you? Yes, it's right at the, we're right at the bottom of that long run now. Um, and now you want to get to the pantiles. Make sure you cross the road in the right place. Ask somebody for the pantiles. OK. Right. Here we are, the Pantiles Kitchen Studio. This is obviously the main bit of the road, OK? Here we are. Now, there's a bit of a, a roundabout here to negotiate. All right. Um, hello. She's there. Hi, thank you. Let's go right across. Excuse me. Now, the Pantiles. Yes, now, perhaps you down could... Down here, Pantiles, down here. Perhaps you could ask someone where Dipper's Well is. Right, the sem assembly rooms are down here. They're very famous, can't remember what form. Here we are, Dipper's Well. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Dipper's Well is? Dipper's Well? Yeah. Never heard of it. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> too one, too one. Try, do you know, do you know where Dipper's Well is? No, no, you though. <laughs> That's not quite what we're after. Anyway, it's where, it's where you can drink the waters where in the pantiles. Right. A dipper. Does anyone know is where Dipper's Well is? Where you can film. drink the waters? Dipper's no, Well. No, no, no. Just down here. Dipper's Well! Oh, well done. No, no. Oh, she's done. still screaming for it. This is a wonderful. As usual, she's finding nothing but the strange. Oh, right, yes, yes. Oh, he'll go. Speak English. Hear ye, hear ye. Do you know where Dipper's Well is? Good afternoon. I most certainly do. Would you like me to tell you? Yes, please. It is just there by the Calibiot Spring on the left. I've got something to help you now. Right, yep. Time 25 prior. minutes left. Oh, the time oh, prior. It's very That's useful nice. to have it yes. standing yes. there. Yes. No home should be without one. <laughs> Dipper's well. Are you there? Here, here's the Charlie Beale Spring. Where's the well? Dipper's well. It should be nearby. How do I get Oh, I can see the clue. Don't panic. Oh. Oh. Have you got it? Yes, thank you, madam. Here we are. It's here. You got it? Stop the clock! You Stop it! Stop the, the clock! <laughs> right. right. We're going to take a short break right. now. Join us again in a moment or two. Welcome back to part two of Treasure Hunt. Well, Jenny and Tim have now solved two clues. That's £150 so far. How's the time going for them? Doing fine. You're on schedule. Oh, good. good. Oh, okay. Great. Right. right. Start the clock. Annika, okay. can you read the clue? Yes. Hop over a line at an oldie worldy toad woody to 25 cows. Head for the poles, and when you're one over the eight, try walking a straight line. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hop over a line at an oldie worldy toad wood to 25 cows. Head for the poles. And when you're one over the eight, try walking a straight line. <laughs> well, we're going to do now. <laughs> well, oh, boy. Hey, are you one over the eight already? 
already, you lot, in London? Absolutely not. <laughs> Beginning to wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you back at the helicopter? Are you ready? Eight already. Toad no, wood. have been drinking, officer, I promise. Yes, yes we're back wood. in the helicopter. In... And uh, we'll just take off for the moment, shall we? Yes, that's a good yes, idea. Thank, thank you. And we'll just... Um, toadwood. Fly yes. over there, sir, uh, Ponty. And I have to say an apology to Frank and Graham, who were actually running fast. I kept saying, get him, move on, lads. But when they're running downhill, the weight of their camera makes them topple over. So that's why we took that run at a quite sedate pace. OK, lads. Bye-bye! Toadwood. 25 cows. What does that mean? Right. Well, we shall cows. circle Let's round uh, Tumbridge Wells. 25 cows. We're just looking on the map, Annie, to see if we can get any clues from that. Right, OK. Well, I'll have a look too and see what we can find. But meanwhile, we'll just uh, have a circle Hop round. There are the pantheels down there. That's all the way we ran down that wood. That's quite a lengthy run. Across the road there. Do you think it's there. another of these railway lines, and is it? Whiz down there. It could be. It could be. And had that glass of water, which was had an interesting taste. I think that's the fairest way to describe it. Cow, a hood. A hood. Part, of, part, no. part of a car body that sports the windscreen. Cover fit to a chimney to increase ventilation. Oast and prevent house. Rough. An oast it house. Could be an oast house. Yes, it? something about oast houses. Jenny, you saw. Oh, right, something about yes. Right. Oast houses. You ran anything about oast houses? An oast house. I'm sure it'll be. Well, an we've oast seen house. A quite a few so far. Twenty. Where there's house. twenty-five. Somewhere where there's twenty-five oast houses. Oh my goodness me. Um, shall I land and ask? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just hang on a minute. By Must be so somewhere wonderful. near this paddock. railway line. Apart paddock Wood. Hops, paddock, no paddock, paddock Wood. wood. Whitbread Hop Farm. This looks like it. The Whitbread Hop Farm. Whitbread. Yes, that's um, Paddock Wood. Does paddock that sound wood. right? Which is up to the... That's to the north, isn't uh, it? North east. east. North paddock east. Wood. There paddock we are. Wood. Paddock Wood. We're on our way. Ah, yes, there's that railway line. Right. Yes, that's, that's, we shall probably right. take yes, a good. direct route through Matfields and... Frenchly, perhaps, Pembury, maybe. Yes, 25 cows there of really Kent. The ah, there we are. The 25 cows of Kent. The Whitbread Hop Whitbread Farm. Whitbread Hop Farm. Right, now, head for the poles. Is that the, the poles. The poles, I suppose. The reason why the Wheels has such a great concentration of famous houses and these lovely huge sort of manor houses is because in medieval times, people, like today, wanted to live within commuting distance to London, the court and parliament. So <laughs> this is why all these lovely... Um, Houses and buildings exist, um, dating back from medieval times. Don't, when they grow hops, don't they have uh, Aren't they poles on poles? I think they are. Of, uh, Might there be anything the about hop growing under special when you're interests? over the eight, that's <laughs> nine. Try walking the ninth row of poles. The ninth Could row be. of poles. And then she walks Could along be. that row. Could be. Uh, maybe, Annika, the... We're flying through Pembury at the moment. Right. Um, you can see, it will take us two minutes to get to Paddockwood. When you get to, to this hop farm... Four minutes, OK. Sorry, I'm just doing a deal with Keith about the amount of minutes this is going to take. Right, are you hearing me, all right? Yes, I can right. hear you. When you get to the hop farm, I think you'll find the hops are all kind of strung up on, on rows of poles. In the actual oast house? Uh, well, I well, think... On the, no, no, no. Outside. It's out, it'll be outside. I don't think it is the oast house itself. The, oh, I see. It's the park that's got these 25 cows, the farm. Oh, I see. Right, a park, right. Right, so you'll see the hops all hung up on rows of poles. Yeah. And obviously you want the ninth row when the... you're one over the eight. You oh, want the ninth, ninth row. row. Walk along it and hopefully the clue will be hanging on a, what, a bunch of hops or a... Too bad. It's brilliant. Yes. Oh, we're flying well, over. Let's hope it's right. Well done. <laughs> Beautifully worked out, yes. Do Where you are you at numbers? the moment, Kent Annika? College 20 over there. minutes Kent to go. Kent College in Pembury, which is a Does it say that girls' they're boarding school. I can't I believe, see anything about that. So they tell that. me. Keep his eyes lit up. I'm sure there's no reason why we should be flying mm -hmm. via it, but uh, give Keith a girls' boarding school and there's just no keeping him away. You've gone a bit Is there a plan? Well, we'll be there in about two minutes. Well, OK, the we're just looking at a plan There's a great of, of the of, farm. Lots of woods around here. The abundance of oak in medieval times. That's why they have all these lovely half-timbered houses. Where are you now? We've just flown over Kent College in Pembury. And Pembry. we're taking a, a northeasterly direction up to Paddockwood. And we'll be there in about two miles. It's probably one of these villages up here. I can't make it out oh. at, at this uh, distance. Oh, wait a minute. Why don't we look up poles? Maybe something different, and they may have another meaning. Yes, yeah. there's an oast house. Further 
to our chat about oast houses there. Graham, can you pick out that fine example there with that sort of funnel at the top, which was a ventilation system? Oh, right. <laughs> We're just looking up to see if we can direct you, Annie, to the right okay. place. Uh. Well, don't you worry. Well, they've been growing fruit here since Roman times, apparently. To support a crop such as hops, hops or beans, beans on, on poles. poles, yes. So that sounds right then, sounds as right. you suggested. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, this is uh, Paddock Wood, uh, the railway line here. Can you see on the map where we are? The railway line. You find the railway line that goes right yeah, through Paddock Wood. Oh, yes. yes. We're just yes. crossing that now. As you see, the, the hop farm's about half a mile beyond that. Or right. Right. That's right. right. Yes, yeah, beyond the railway. So, so, we're just keeping our eyes peeled. And there's some more beautiful oast houses. Look at that. There's a cluster of four there by a little lake. What a lovely setting. And there's a bigger cluster over there with the five chimneys. But uh, this is all I can see right in the distance now. Good gosh, they've been breeding. <laughs> Millions of those. Oh, this is, this is quite amusing. You see, oldie worldy toad wood. And paddock is the archaic or British dialect oh, dial of frog or toad. Good. Very clever. Where are you, Annie? Are well, you... we could see the uh, the cluster of uh, oast houses in the distance now. Uh huh. Um, oh, no. And what you, is it? Still the ninth row or something? The ninth row of hops that you think the clue will be at? Yes. Is that what you were saying? So, do you want to explain again what you think? Because I think that's probably right. Yes. Can you can you see the twenty five oast houses? Yes, Annie? we can. can They're you glorious. Can you see some poles? Uh, sort of poles. Line, lines of poles with. Hops hanging up as if they're sort of washing. Stuff, the stuff line. growing up them. Up right, the yes. So growing like up. like something on a what? Something hanging up like washing. Did well, you say? Well, all the hops grow up roll, rows of poles, like poles. sort of. So they look like sort of do. lines and lines of green washing. Do they indeed? Well, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> guessing. Saying, well, there's the actual hop field there. Yes. Um, but the whether hop it's, fields. Would it be the yes. hop field or the actual oast house? Look at that lovely. It's at a shire horse. I, I'm sure it's Wonderful got to be. Setting. Obviously, this is open as some kind it's of museum. Or, oh, there's a lot of people here. Eight. Now, I'm, I'm a bit confused. So it's nothing to do with the actual building. Uh, no, I think it's the it's these actual poles, the lines of poles that the hops are sort of growing up. This would be in the field, would it? Hi, how are you? Nice Hi, to see you. Thank you. Excuse me, I've got some work to do. You want you want number nine, row row nine or row nine or area nine in the or... field. Um, do you know where the, the actual are. hops are grown up, like sort of beans on a beanstalk? That one. Ask somebody where the poles that are, Annika. Are they the actual fun. poles? Um, let's have a look over here. So that's cert certainly this was the hop field we saw from the air. Is there anybody there to help you? Well, there's a lot of children who seem to know it all, but whether they <laughs> they know what we want they to won't know. Tell. <laughs> This is certainly the, the hop field here, with, and they're growing up like beans on a beanstalk. Are there any numbers about? Can you see any numbers hanging up? Um, let me just check. Um, can I see any numbers? No. Or... Are there any? Hang on, let's go with these children. They seem to know how to get in. <laughs> can you show me how to get in? Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge we have to go right round here, do we? Right. Yeah, okay. Now, perhaps this is it over here. Now, here's a wonderful old horse. This is the hop garden, it says. Mm -hmm. We want the ninth pole. Yes. Or the ninth row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see. That says 15, 13. Nine. Number nine. Here we are. And it should be somewhere on that row. Oh, great. Fifteen um, minutes left. Try walking a straight line. Try walking... Well, I think they are in straight lines, aren't they? Mm. They are in absolutely straight lines. Yes. Just looking for a pink clue. Oh, I can see it down here. Hang on. Yes. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> can you see it? Can you? Can you see There's it? a gentleman t tending his crop here. Oops. Some stinging nettles. Perhaps he's pruning the pink clue. <laughs> Goodness me, you're tall. Can you give our clue? Where's it what gone? Stilt walkers. I just saw a pink clue. Oh, they, they picked have, them up from, they, from stilts. They were they stilts. Oh, oh, there it is. There's a gentleman on huge high stilts. 
tending to the, the sort of wires. So he can reach up to get the clue? I hope so. Well, she's going to have He's to either going to do that or oh, not no. the <laughs> oh, Surely not. Uh, well, are you going to have to get on the stilts, Annie? I hope not, but I don't know how I'm going to get it from him. You're brilliant! Oh! Right, here we are! Thank you! Here's you the got, clue! You got stop it! Stop the clock! Right, stop the clock. Stop We're going to take another right. short break. Join us again in a moment or two. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to part three of Treasure Hunt. There are still two clues to be solved. I don't know whether they're ahead or behind at this stage. Any idea? Well, you're slightly behind. It's about a minute. Uh, I've got to give you the clue for the treasure. We haven't oh, done yes. that so What's far. That? It's a high flyer. A high flyer. OK. okay. We're ready then? Let's start the clock. Clue four. Here it is. Clue four. Here's Annika, a can you read teaser, or perhaps a tizer. St Paul's railing should help you forge your head to a claustral cluster where the root is, clue is rooted beyond the sedilia. What do you think of that? Oh, here's a teaser. St Paul's railing should help you that forge ahead to a claustral <laughs> cluster we better try where the clue is rooted time. beyond the sedilia. Back to the hmm. helicopter. Does that sound horticultural, sedilia, do you think? Yes, it could be. But there's a lot of words in there which could be looked up. Teaser. Are you, are you actually... Should we get back in the helicopter? I think so, yes. OK. There's a river tease. River there's a, tease? There's a river tease, wherever that is. Can you spot the river tees? I've got some more Kent beer? books here. The tees. Cheese, two and yes, nine. Yes, Frankie needs that. Yes, OK. River tea we're looking for, are we? Tea. The river, there's a river tees. Right. Do you know um, where the river tea is? We've got... Uh, tees. Tees, Annika. Tees. T-E-I-S-E. Oh, the river tees. The river right. tees rises in Chase Wood, part of Waterdown Forest, near the Tunbridge Wells Frant Road. Now, where's the river Frant tees. Road? Oh, well done. Just Where south, is it? South of uh, Royal Tunbridge Wells, um, Furnace Wood. Oh, there, yes. River yes. Tees. It's River Right, tees. yes, we found it. Right. There's a place called Bayham Abbey there. I don't know whether that's... Uh, a what? That's... There's a place called Bayham Abbey oh, where it says Oh, well, that would be... Oh, yes. Sedalia is yes. some sort of... Um... Yes, I've got a dictionary here, actually. That would be cloistral, wouldn't it? Claustral. Yes. Cloistral, yes. Can we cloistral. go to uh, River Tees, anyway? We'll, we'll work out whether it's... Uh, Yes, that's a good what idea. Bye-bye! Sedilia. That oh, really yes. Spectacular Sedilia. Sign. Seats for the officiating clergy on the south side of the chancel. Ah. H how are you doing with that? Now, where is this abbey? Annika? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, just about. It's a bit crackly, <laughs> but I can What's just that? about hear you. Bayham Abbey. Bayham Abbey, is Where that... is it? Yes, Where is Bayham it? Abbey. Yes. Can you see Bayham Abbey? No, we oh, can't. Oh, I see, sorry, it's just west of Lamberhurst. Lamberhurst, yes. Miles west of Lamberhurst. West of Lamberhurst. Okay. Bayham Abbey. Bayham Abbey, yes, Bayham right. Abbey. You go almost due south there, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, so we'll probably take a route that will take us through Matfield. Now, what is it saying? Forge ahead to a plus, yes. plus this is, uh, cluster. This is Paddock Wood below, in all its glory. What uh, is that? Is that the claustral cluster? Mm, I should think so. Yeah, I would think so. What does it say? What's they growing there? Claustral. 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 Secluded. Cluster. Mm. Yes. What's that? Clue is rooted You've got to get to this sedilia. bayum. Sedilia are seats. Mm. So well, is that the claustral seats. cluster? There are no seats. It's a ruined thing. What's this? North transept. Where they used to sit, presumably, the sedilia. Do they sit in the north transept? Well, there are, in fact, no, more than no, 40,000 acres of apple orchards. I think you'd better That's repeat all that, because I don't think Annika home. heard what you said. You know, Tell her again what you wanted to do, Hello, where yes. she's got to go. Uh, can you hear us better now? You're just heading at the moment towards Bayham Abbey, yes? Bayham Abbey, we're on our way. We're flying over lots of orchards at the moment. OK. Well, go through the next bit that you've right. just done. Um, well, we, we think there's a possibility. It's a, the, Bayham Abbey is a ruin, Annika. You won't find any seats there. A, a so ruin? It's a ruin, Are we yes. talking ruin as in Kedden? Uh, we're, we're talking ruin as in no roof, no floor. <laughs> and probably no walls. Right. OK. okay. Let's have a look so, at this. So, we think the claustral cluster... Um, the cloisters. ...is, yes, ne okay. near the cloisters, or in the Not cloisters... A pretty little town down there. We're, we're just trying to locate no. the exact actual, actual spot. That's Matt. Field, we think that's the village in of the dictionary, It says that Sedilia is on the south side of the chancel. chancel. Ten minutes to go. See, that's not the chancel, no. but I wonder. South side of the chancel. 
Annika? Hello Why there. was that? Are there? you hearing all this? Um, yes, we are, actually. There, there's a lot of general well, muttering Annie, going on. Annie, yes. we th I at the moment, the that. thinking is that it's a, a decoration on the wall uh, of the church. A sort of... Um, decoration it's, on the wall of the church? Yes, okay. it, it's, we'll it's, like, there... it's like a sort of um, large flower, large from what flower. I can see. OK, we're there. How do we describe now? where that well, is? Well, I don't know. Do you think it says where the clue is rooted? rooted? Do you think yeah, it's actually on a plant or a tree? Yeah, oh, so good. Somewhere near the tree. The I mean, like, like what's this tree behind here? Is this a very yes, important tree? Be. You found a, a, a significant tree, Jenny. Yes. When you get to the abbey, yeah. we think you're looking for the ruins of the north transept and presbytery. Can right. You, did you hear that? Yes. Uh, yep, I did. Right. Mm -hmm where there is a thing called the sedilia. Hang on. Could, uh, Annika, could I just say that... Tim. It, it's basically around the area where you would imagine the altar to be in right. a big church, right? Yes. That's where we're talking about. And, that, and the cross, where the, the main part of the church crosses with the transepts. OK. That is the sort well, this of... this is Burham Abbey below us now, and... Uh... They're ruins. I would definitely say they come under the terms of ruins. <laughs> <laughs> and there's... Uh... Yes, it does rather say remains of on the map. There's the, the main building in Bayham Abbey and the old ruins next to it. Now, let's... So I've got to land, basically, and find out where the altar used to be. Yes, That's right. And find a little pink clue flapping around in the breeze somewhere. Rooted beyond the sedilia. Yes. Now, where yes. is that? Sedilia. Right. The, the sedilia was, was a, a seat. A seat. Which, a stone seat, which was up in the sort of most easterly part of the church, very close to the altar. Um, for the sedilia, there's some people oh, wondering. <laughs> yes, if the, if the people have a guidebook yes. and they have a map, it is actually written in the guidebook. Snatch it from as, as the sedilia. <laughs> yes. Right. Let's, uh, let's go back. Hello! Hi! Now, we're looking for the sedilia. Do you know where the altar would have been? The sedilia. Oh, brilliant. Presbytery. Yes, do they know? Is that yes, up there? Yeah, right up there. That's where the altar would have been at the end there. Yeah. So it's straight up here. Oh, where are the roots of the tree are? Is that right? Sorry? So, sorry? There's a huge old... Is that an oak tree? I'm not too Huge old yes. tree. Jenny yes. thinks ah. it may be in that With huge roots, old tree. The roots of the tree. And this is the old presbytery where... I presume the altar used to be, and this must have been the altar. Right. I'm sure it must be there, then. That must be the rooted beyond bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's a beach tree. Look, here are all the roots of the tree, you see. Wincy says it's a beach tree. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Very like an oak tree in Kent. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, Can you We've see got anything? seven minutes. Sorry, I'm just uh, having a good old forage round. Oh, this is awful. I can never see where I'm... To be. Are you in where the, the sort of the crossover part of the church? They, I think she's found she, the she tree. Is there. She's yeah. just um, the tree now. I just don't know where the clue might be. Well, it says, it says beyond, beyond. Beyond. Well, it says beyond these seats. So close. To, can you find the stone seat? It should be. This was this the stone seat or the altar? Do you think? This is the altar. This uh, is the altar. By the, by so the, the, the stone seat. The altar's in the middle. Yes. Um, on, by the wall. On the walls. Look on the walls. This is the wall, you see. If in severe doubt, look at where Graham's pointing oh, the camera. Oh, got it! Oh, oh, sneaky! Yes. Oh, crap. Right. All right, read Keep it. On. Can you read it, then? Listen for the sound the poet heard on Innisfree and fall for the fellow who's got a rosy half-century underway. <laughs> Listen for the sound the poet heard on Innisfree and what fall for the fellow who's got a rosy half-century underway. Waves, yes. That... Annika, can you head back for the helicopter, please? We're on our way. That's, That's Yates. Very poetry. Yes, it's the Lake Isle of Free. Oh, rosy half century. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the literary. You watch, what are you actually looking for there? The poem. Yates. Oh, I don't poetry. think you'll find the poem, but you'll find uh, a literary guide over there. All oh, right. Hang on, what? <laughs> Keith just handed me a, a life jacket. Have I got to put it on? A, a life, life jacket. jacket. It must be that. Buell one. Lake, it must be, surely. Frank has moved in. Oh, gosh, Frank, you watch my... Hi. Oh, Frank. The Lake, the Lake Isle of... Hang on a second. What did he sound? What did what he did hear there? Yeah. It must be. They're putting on a life jacket, so she must be... How does the work... How does the, how's the poem start? Go, I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree. We'll have where, a look in oh, the dictionary gosh, photos if we can find something there. Five minutes to go. You won't believe this. I'm not trussed up like a Christmas turkey. <laughs> Keith's told me what to, to jerk if I'm in trouble. 
Um, if you see what I mean. And, um, whoops, sorry. Did you hear anything Let's about the, the clue on Innisfree? No. no. Well, what the, what the poet heard was lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. Oh, how lovely. So, right. we, so we think it may be Buell Lake, which is southeast of where you are. Can you Buell see lake. it? Well, that's very close. That's about a minute and a half away, I should have Right. Imagined. Well, we think. We're heading for Buell Lake. And why do you think I've got a life jacket on? Well, that's Look. a very good question. Well, could you please put my mind at ease? What with mountaineering? <laughs> I'm not ready for a splash. It's freezing right. hold, today. Right, hold on. We're just, uh, we found a, um, Buell water. a leaflet. Buell Water, called Buell Water. Buell, Buell Lake, yes. Something about yes. high flying, wasn't it? They don't do anything Four like... Four minutes to um, go. ...the fellow who's got a rosy half-century underway. Oh, it's just, what's this rosy half-century? Stop half in the century? wind noise. <laughs> water mm. sports. The, the lake's actually ahead now. I can actually see Buell Lake. Um, can, can, what, I'll just see when we get a bit closer. Annie. I think hello. she's maybe got can to you, jump out of the helicopter. It's not one of those things like parasending, is it, where you have to put on a parachute or something and fly up in the air? Can you see any... Can you see oh, any... Uh, can, um, can you see anybody flying or Shit. anything high... Not yet. High I, or... I'm just trying to make out there's some sailing going on, I think. Yes, you may have to drop out of the helicopter, Annie, into the lake. Yeah, yes. but what part of the lake? <laughs> it's quite big. I don't want to make a mistake. I could be swimming for days. Tell me, tell me what to drop out onto. There's lots of windsurfing going on. Um, oh, gosh, there's a big sort of funnel thing sticking out at it's one end of it. Don't know what century. that is, even. Mm. Three minutes left. What was the treasure? It's a high flyer. A high flyer. Oh, so it must be one of those parasending jobbers. Well, could um, it be, or...? Has it... Um, what, have, they, have they got numbers on them at all? Um, help! A Sorry. pink, yes, a, bo a, pink, a boat or something that's got a pink number 50 on it. Um, pink number 50? Yeah. That's the one right, you want. Right. You've got to get to it. Head OK, to... I'm on my way! Head Two and a half minutes. Keith, can you drop me near it? Do I take off all this pack, Frankie? Oh, gosh. Right, here, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to lose you now. Hang right, on. OK, good luck. At this point, Graham, the cameraman, is going to talk to us, but he may not be able to hear us. Oh, so right. we can hear him. Let's Speak see. to us. <laughs> is there anyone there? Hello, Graham. What's happening? Kenneth, this is Graham. Annie's given me the runner pack, and I can't Two hear minutes. you because I can't actually fit it on my head. But I'm going to talk to you and tell you what's happening. Right. At the moment, we're over the lake, and there's a windsurfer going along with the treasure on his mast. And what we hope to do is to get the wash of the helicopter to knock him over. <laughs> <laughs> Annie's getting ready to jump in. The water will be jolly cold. Yes, I think it, it is. <laughs> Poor girl, perhaps she's got to have thermal undies on, so she won't be too bad. Well, she probably need cooling off oh, after that it. climb. She, we really put her through it. It's <laughs> just quite a day. Yes. She should be sent a large bunch of flowers and a bottle of champagne. <laughs> and we're approaching him now. Wait a sec. Yes, we're coming over the top of him now. Yes, he's gone in the water. <laughs> And he's getting ready to jump in. One minute. <laughs> Quick, Annie. Annie's in the water. She's she's about ten yards from him, and she's swimming swimming towards him. Oh, Annie's in the water now. I don't know. Five yards it, away. No. Forty-five seconds. Nearly there. Three yards away. Nearly there. Three yards away. Come on, Annie. You can do it. Stop the clock. She's, she's got, got the treasure. <laughs> Sorry, she's got the treasure. Amazing. Well done. Nice. That's absolutely fantastic. Oh, <laughs> seconds to spare, literally. Yes, you yes. really were as close as you could possibly get to not getting it. <laughs> very well done. It was terrific. Congratulations. You, Congratulations. Well, you worked out the clues very well indeed. Well, thank you for your help. And got Annika's got as well. She was brilliant. <laughs> I think they'd like to have a nice I, check. What about a nice check, yes? Thousand pounds is well, not I, bad. Actually, it's made out to Tim, but as you're going to be the boss of this organisation, <laughs> right, you better have you better cut. Thank you so better have it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations, you thank did you. extremely well. Well, Annie, well, you got that. it. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much, Annika, for your help. And thank you for being such oh. good contestants, and thank you, Winston, for you're your welcome. help too. You're welcome. And that's all from Treasure Hunt for this week. Hope you'll join us again next week at the same time. Goodbye. Bye.
Well, you won't have to wait until next week, as if by magic, Treasure Hunt returns tomorrow night when Annika hops on the chopper and heads for Hertfordshire. And a quick hello to Margaret of Bathgate, who loves Treasure Hunt. She's with us every night for that. Stay with us now on the Family Channel for Cat's Eyes, and the girls encounter a naval affair after the break.